Jack from Tinkercrate here. Today I'm going to show you how to make a magnetically levitating pencil holder. First, get your magnets. You'll need six of them for this project. Pop the circles out of all of your sticky foam rings. Find the rings with the large holes in the middle. Take an orange ring and stick it to the magnet on the top of the stack. Then stick a gray ring to the bottom of that magnet. Now put that magnet on the bottom of the stack. Repeat this once, again using the large hold sticky foam. Now we're going to do the same thing, but with small hold sticky foam. Stick an orange ring with a small hole to the top magnet and a gray ring on the bottom. Do this for the next three magnets. You should have four magnets with small holes and two magnets with large holes. Make sure that the colors on all of your magnets alternate. This means that they're all lined up in the right direction. If one of your magnets is aimed in the wrong direction, peel off the stickers and realign it. Now get your large wooden frame pieces. Find the sticky foam pads with the matching shapes and stick them down. Attach the long wooden pieces to the bottoms of both the frame pieces. Make sure the sticky foam side of the frame pieces are both facing the same way. Get two of your magnets with the small holes and slide them onto one of your acrylic rods. Make sure both the magnets are faced in the same direction. Now do the same thing with your other acrylic rod and your other two magnets with small holes. Line up your rods so the gray side of the magnets is facing the shorter side of the frame. Slide the rods into the middle of the frame. Slide your alignment guide into the slots on the side of the frame. Space out the magnets so that they line up with the guide. Do this for both sides of the frame. Now you'll need your metal cone piece and two elastic bands. Slide both of the elastic bands onto the cone. Slide the flat side of the cone piece into the plastic tube. If you push it in too far, push it back out with the pencil. Slide the two magnets on the tube so it lines up with the card. Place the cone tip of your pencil holder into the circle on the wooden frame. See if it floats. Yours might not float on the first try. Here's some tips that might help you get it right. Double check your pencil holder against the alignment card. Check the magnets in the frame against the other side of the alignment card. Make sure everything is lined up right. Make sure your rods are evenly spaced apart from each other and are near the outer edge of their slots. You can also check that the back magnet on the pencil holder is lined up with the back magnets on the frame, and that the front magnet on the pencil holder is a little bit behind the front magnets on the frame. Once everything is lined up just right, you'll have a levitating pencil holder. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and check out your magazine for more cool projects to do with your magnets. All right, I'll see you next time.